What's going on, guys? This is Tech Guy One Two here. Today, I'm gonna be doing a um the review on the Logitech review of Google TV. So I have it up and running right here. Um, you see on the right hand, right bottom corner, you should see the TV running. That's live TV right now on this Discovery Channel. So one thing I like about the Google TV is that you can surf the web using Google Chrome and watch TV at the same time with sound on and I have to sound off so to do this video so okay so I'm gonna show you how to surf like how easy it is to surf and how easy to navigate this Google TV so here here we are on YouTube I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to my home screen so basically this is the home screen where all your stuff is. Hit some kind of options like you watch live TV, go to YouTube straight there. Um this is help assistance that you can help with. And one main thing I like about this is the Netflix. This is Netflix um compatible and it ha um you can use Wi Fi or Ethernet on this thing. So so you can put this anywhere you want. Or when when you have a TV or something. So you don't have to I don't, have, I don't have to mess with the wires and stuff. That's one thing about like about it. Let me turn this TV. Oop. So here's the TV of it. So I think I could change TV. I think I could change shoes. No, I haven't, I haven't got it set up yet. So okay. Let's go. So I'm gonna show you the Netflix in the face on this. We launched Netflix. It has, it's simple and easy. Using the keyboard here. Watch. Slow. Okay. Here we are. Um, here's the Netflix interface. Um, you will have you will need an account with this. So if you don't already have an account, go to the link bottom and you should get a like a one month free or something. Yeah, you know, I, I advise you to take advantage of that because if you don't like it in one month, you can cancel at any time, but you still but you got one month on Netflix free. That's 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 what I like about it. I've been using Netflix for like three, six, no, three or four months. Okay, I'm gonna show you a quick movie. Real quick. Okay, here's the recent movie that I watched. Okay, quick movie. Let's watch this real quick. See, it's rated four stars, PD thirteen. Yeah, you can add an instant queue, rate this title. I'm not. I have. I watched this a long time ago. Let's play a movie. It's retrieving. We'll play this real quick because of copyright stuff. I don't want to get in trouble. This is slow. I used to go fast. Go stars. Um, the picture is kind of okay on my HD TV, but it's not the best. So it's just the beginning. Let's fast forward. Good. Here's when they are racing. Start the race. Let me show you the picture quality of this. It's very good. Like you fast forward, very simple and nice. Um, the picture quality is okay, like DVD quality, but everything is okay. Nice, no lag, nothing about that. It actually depends on your internet connection about that. But my internet connection is really great. So no lag, nothing else. Quit out of that. Yes. Okay, I'm back on the main screen. Um, you can even rent or buy videos from Amazon videos if you don't have Netflix. That's one advantage I like about the Google TV. So we take we go in, you go straight to Amazon.com for all these movies and TV shows that you can watch. You can buy any of them or rent them. I think I think you can still rent them. Yeah, you, I think you still rent them. So here's Amazon if you like it. So. I think Google TV will have an Amazon, like not Amazon, Android marketplace, I think, but it's not out yet. But 
that's what sucks about it, but it has some great apps pre-installed like CNPC Real Time, it's a gallery of your photos, Google Chrome, it's like the main Google browser. And Napster, NBA Game Time, Netflix, Pandora, TV, Twitter, and it has Spotlight, like all your stuff, like CNET, HBO. So basically, Google TV works great with your DVR. You have one, so you find stuff easier, faster, without using a remote. You know, finding it's hard. It's the most video visited stuff, and and a thing will dedicate to Amazon, Netflix. So I'm gonna show you the. I'm gonna show you the Google Chrome. Let's see how cool it is. Get the Google Chrome, it goes back here. You navigate, you push the search bar on your keyboard, and go anywhere you want. Like, if I want to go to uh, Apple.com, connects with that. See, Apple.com. And you can even enable the mouse feature. I don't know why I show up to Apple's. TV, but on there. Sidepad 2, which is great. You see how easy to navigate with the mouse. For you want to search again, you just push the search button. For example, you want to go to uh, the uh, right there. Stuff you can buy stuff on here, but I don't really buy stuff. I don't, I don't really give out my credit card information for Wi-Fi. I don't know why, but I just don't really do it. So, and it has a great feature that I showed you earlier about watching TV on the side. Just push the TV tab. Hmm. So what? Okay, let's get a lot of TV first. That's one advantage. You can surf all you want and watch TV. So, yeah. You can watch TV. So, you still hear the sound. Yeah. This is really great. I recommend the Google TV or um, I'll own. I don't recommend a Google TV over an Apple TV, but still, it's, it's a good alternative to the Apple TV, but I will prefer the Apple TV than the Google TV because you can buy rent and TV shows off of iTunes way faster and you don't have to go to Amazon. But this can browse the web and do much more stuff than the, much more stuff than the Apple TV, so both of them are like completely different to me, uh, for my opinion. So this is it. I think this is it about the Google TV and that's it. So thank you for watching and, and please subscribe and like this video and have a nice day.